Good morning. Thank you for attending the, today's presentation on digital accessibility and user experience. Do you need a light? <laughs> we can switch on the light. <clears throat> Thank you. My name is Tanya Kleut, and I work as accessibility specialist at the European Parliament. You can follow me on Twitter at Tanya Kleut, and you can use Voxid Lu, A11Y, which is the acronym for accessibility, and UX, which stands for user experience. What is digital accessibility? Software, websites, mobile applications should be easily navigated by a wide range of users, including those with visual, auditory, cognitive, motor disabilities. Accessibility is essential for persons with disabilities, but it benefits all users. Another approach that takes into consideration accessibility in a broader sense is universal design, which aim is to have the same design for persons with and without disabilities. Today, more and more smartphones and tablets are um, available to persons with different abilities. When we think about persons with disabilities, we usually think about persons who have permanent disability, for example, like me, as I'm blind. Temporary disabilities, the person can have a broken arm or leg. Or even situational disability, if you're driving, you cannot look on your screen, it's not uh, recommended. So you can use the text-to-speech functionality to read you out loud what is written on the screen. Or you can make uh, voice commands instead of typing on the screen. Web accessibility. The power of the web is in its universality, said Tim Berners-Lee, the director and inventor of W3C, when announcing the launch of the Web Accessibility Initiative in 1997. Um, and we should remember that the main idea of the web is that it is accessible to everyone. Assistive technologies are technologies that are used by persons who have uh, disabilities, but not only. Some examples are screen readers that are software applications that read aloud the content that is on the screen and allow interaction on the keyboard or through a touchscreen device. They can work together um, with a refreshable Braille display that will display the same text that the screen reader reads but in Braille on a, on a special device. Low vision users uh, will use magnification software. Sof uh, then speech recognition software are used by persons who have motor disabilities, but not only, because now more and more users use the speech uh, software recognition. Then alternative uh, input devices can be used also by persons with motor disabilities, like special ergonomic keyboard or mouse. And then hearing aids are available to persons who have a hearing impairment. And there are others. This is not a complete list. This is just to have an idea what is available. However, using the assistive technologies is not sufficient to make the content accessible to persons with disabilities. The environment needs to be accessible, and in order to enable access to the content, uh, and we can compare it uh, with a wheelchair that cannot access the staircase, in the same way as a screen reader cannot access a component that has um, inaccessible code. So accessibility needs to be taken into account from the beginning in the design process. We have standards that recommend how to design accessible um, content. We have the Web Content Accessibility Guidelines. Those are guidelines for developers to uh, design accessible web content. 
by W3C, the main organization for web standards, currently on the version 2.1 from last year, June. And they have uh, four principles that we'll mention in a few seconds, 13 guidelines and several success criteria from level A, which is the basic level, double A, which is the medium and mostly used, and triple A, which is the highest level of accessibility. The triple A can be used for some uh, content, for example, for video, to provide closed captions for persons who are hearing impaired, but it will also benefit uh, other persons who are in a noisy environment and cannot hear the content. The closed captions will be displayed and um, it will be easy to follow the speech for everyone. Even it can be useful if you're not a native speaker and you don't understand exactly the speech, the closed captions will be useful. A similar adaptation can be done for uh, persons who have visual impairment, um, the audio description. <clears throat> but as I said, the AAA can be done for some types of content, usually the mostly used is AA. We have the harmonized European standard on accessible procurement of ICT products and services, a very complicated name, which serves for procuring accessible technology uh, in the public sector, but it can be used also in other organizations. It is aligned with the WCAG 2.1 that I mentioned before, and it is also recommended by the European Directive, the Web Accessibility Directive. And we have the European standard designed for all, which makes the technology usable by all users to the greatest extent possible. Regulations, we have the Web Accessibility Directive, that requires to design websites and mobile applications accessible and according to the existing international standards. The directive was uh, adopted uh, two years ago and will be valid already from September this year for new websites and there are several other deadlines to respect. But monitoring, <coughs> sorry, monitoring is foreseen every uh, three years, if the content is accessible or not. And also users should be able to make a complaint if the content is not accessible and ask for the accessible version of the content if the content is not accessible. The second uh, regulation is the European Accessibility Act that was adopted in April this year by European institutions and uh, will ensure that different products and services are accessible on the European market. I would like to mention and explain the four principles from the web content accessibility guidelines that will make it easier to understand um, uh, the accessibility. Perceivability means making the output uh, content available through multiple senses. In the same way as you can see the content on the screen, you should be able to listen it via screen reader, or if there is the audio content, uh, the transcription or closed captions should be also provided. So different ways of perception. Operability ensures that the content can be accessed by different input devices. I should be able to access the content in the same way with a keyboard as with a mouse or on a touch screen, it should be also available to persons with disabilities. Understandability means that the content is understandable to all users. If we have um, the icon cross, usually, means close, but the text that will describe this icon will not be X, will be close, because we describe um, the meaning, not what the image contains. So this is the um, 
principle of understandability, it can be considered in a wider sense. Even if you're sighted, sometimes you don't understand what is the icon. So the explanation should tell, in fact, the meaning, not what it contains. But it depends also on the context. If the same image is in a photo gallery, you would explain what it contains. Robust is a technical term, which means that the content is compatible to different um, environments, including to assistive technologies. This means that the screen readers are not slowed down or blocked when I access a specific content. Uh, if I access a form, I should be able to navigate uh, in the same way as um, sh I should I access it without a screen reader. So the scripts should not slow down the screen reader or even block it, which if the content is not robust, may happen. And I would like to show you um, how it works, some accessible and inaccessible examples with a screen reader. I will turn it on in a few seconds. It, this is Task the sound bar. of uh, my screen reader. Welcome to sit. And I will activate a special extension. Speech viewer enabled. Of a speech viewer. So MVDA is the screen reader that I'm using on Windows operating system. So the application will read aloud to me what uh, you see on the screen. And you will be able to read uh, what is read out in the speech viewer. So I invited you to follow the speech viewer and the red rectangular that will be visible on the screen. However, however the red rectangular will show only the focus of interactive uh, controls. It will not show when I, I will be focused on the text. So the recommendation is to follow the red rectangular and the speech viewer. Link graphic. I will Fine. skip what starts to the here. example. This example is um, from uh, W3C uh, pages. All examples are from W3C. And on the same pages, um, you can also see uh, the technical recommendations how to create those examples. You will experience now how the web sounds. <laughs> um, blank, blank, blank. Blank, several blank uh, lines here. Blank. So this is the example that is not accessible. Link graphic red dot with a white letter C that symbolizes a moon crescent as well as the sun. This logo is. OK, this is a graphic, but it's a very longer to alternative text. Link graphic followed by a black banner that says Citylites, which is the name of this on the line portal. Finally. Finally. Link graphic, the slogan of the portal, your access to the city, follows in a turquoise green handwriting style. Link graphic on with a slight slant across the top banner. OK, an exhaustive uh, description. The alternative text is the text um, that is added to images to describe um, images. But the recommendation is that they're short and clear. And this is a very long and time consuming uh, description. I will go further. Unlabeled graphic. Unlabeled graphic. Unlabeled graphic. Unlabeled graphic. So many unlabeled graphics. Combo box collapsed quick menu. I have a combo box combo box, which doesn't have an uh, accessible label. Blank. And even after, I don't have any button to confirm my selections, which means that as soon as I access the combo box and start pressing arrows to select the items, I will also activate them by coincidence. When the menu is accessible, I should be able to navigate and to confirm my selection by pressing the Enter key. And here is not the case. I will not show it because it will uh, change the page. Traffic, construction work on main road. OK, I have some information about the traffic. Today, Friday, June 21st, 2019, sunny, 23C. 
Okay. Blank, 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 blank. Unlabel graphic, unlabel graphic, blank. Unlabel graphic, blank. Several unlabel graphics, I'm not aware what they contain. Unlabel graphic, blank. Unlabel graphic, blank, blank. City lights news. Okay, and then I'm reading a text. I'm not aware that this is the title that you can see on the screen, but I'm not informed through uh, the headings because the heading here is not added. Heat wave link to temperatures. The same applies for the subtitle. Man gets nine months in violin case. And here comes the text. After three years of effort, city scientists now agree that the primary cause, etc. I will stop it with control key. I don't have any dif difference between the title and the text. So screen readers use the information from the code especially the semantical information that are available in the HTML to present the content to the users. Um, and I will switch now to the same example, but accessible version. City Lights News. Link starts here. OK, it starts here, the example. List with two items, link skip to content within demo page. You can hear it says list of two items. Link skip to navigation within demo page. And those two items are the skip navigation links that are internal links that are supposed to move my focus to, to a specific section of the page. I will not activate any of those links now, but they are useful for screen reader users and for keyboard users. Out of list link graphic city lights, your access to the city. This is the correct alternative text. Graphic sunny spells. Another graphic with alternative text. Explore site by topic. Combo box collapse quick menu. Explore, explore site by topic is the label that before was missing. So I'm aware what it does as soon as I access the menu. So what I will select. Button go. And the go button is supposed to activate any of the selected items. Traffic. Construction work on main road. And again, information about the traffic. Today, heading level two navigation menu. Navigation menu is the title that before was not present. It is indicated with the heading level two for me to e find it more easily. This is one of the solution. Accessibility doesn't have an exact formula. Another solution would be to use the nav or role navigation, but what is important is to make it accessible. List with four items, link home. Then we have a list of four items. The list is um, read out again from the code. Uh, it's not um, an information that the screen reader um, um, made, but it reads directly what is in the code. Clickable news, visited link tickets, visited link survey. Out of list heading level one. So those were the graphics that before were without alternative text. And now I have the title. Li out of list heading level one city lights news. With the heading level one. What is also interesting for you um, is that by using headings, I'm informed that this is a title. And also I can navigate by headings uh, using specific access keys from the screen reader. Heading level two heat wave link to temperatures. This is a level two, so I'm informed that this is a subtitle. After three years of effort, city scientists now agree that the primary cause of the 2000... Okay, etc. Um, here, I can differentiate the text from the titles. It's very easy for me to understand it. I will uh, switch to the next example. Main landmark, ARIA landmark. Here, we have the ARIA landmark roles. ARIA stands for Accessible Rich Internet Application. And those are attributes that are added only if the semantical information is not there. And the first rule of ARIA is do not use ARIA if, ne if not necessary. So it is important to use HTML whenever it's possible. And then when um, it's important to add uh, semantical information that are not there. It's possible to use ARIA. Here, 
The landmark roles are used to indicate different parts of the screen. As a sighted user, you can quickly see where is the banner, navigation, main, complementary, or footer. But if I'm accessing the page for the first time as a screen reader user, I will not um, be aware um, where is the main content, and I will be forced to read it from top to bottom. But by using landmark roles, I'm able to quickly skip from one part of the page to the another. Now, banner landmark skip too. So I'm focused on the banner. I'm pressing uh, the access key. Navigation landmark list with 12 items, principles link. So navigation, uh, and it tells me how many elements are there. Link HTML5. So this would be another link, but I'm skipping to the next landmark. Main landmark, main landmark heading level one. Main landmark is indicated on the content land main landmark. Coding techniques, region area techniques tab selected. This is another region. Landmarks, complementary landmark, landmarks heading level two. Complementary information. Related W3C documents, complementary landmark, related W3C document, content info landmark. And content info is for the footer. This is one of the solutions because today HTML5 also supports um, navigation section in uh, elements. Welcome to City Lights, inaccessible survey. We have a survey Starts that is not accessible. Blank, unlabeled graph, blank, blank, city light, this blank. This week's survey, more city parks of pain or again, city lights survey. So do, those, um, this is again the title without heading. This week's blank table with three rows and four columns. And here I'm informed that I'm accessing a table, but I would not expect to have the form in a table. The table here is to use a visual, uh, to organize the visual layout. You don't see the table on the screen, but I can see more in this case, and uh, I can see uh, that there is a table. Which is your favorite city park? 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 It repeats four times the question, and it's not clear to me to which option it belongs. I will read further. Blank. Radio button not checked. Okay, radio button not checked. Blank. Radio button not checked. Another one. I don't know what, what options I have as I don't hear the label. Blank. Radio button not checked. And the third option. So I'll try to navigate by columns. None Central Park Grand Park. Radio button not checked. Radio button not checked. Radio button not checked. Okay. So... As you can hear, it's difficult to understand the correlation as uh, the table is used here. The tables are accessible, but it's important to use them only for structuring data, not for visual layout. In the same way, uh, editable box Take blank. is not accessible. Edit. So it says edit. Blank. Edit. Edit. And the label is in another column. City lights. Sir. The accessible version of the page is here. Starts here. City Light Survey Heading Level 1. I quickly skipped to the title by using the Heading 1, as it is indicated with the Heading 1. Heading Level 2 This Week's Survey. More City Parks of Pain or Again. H24 Subtitle. Fields are required if not otherwise noted. Okay, great. Let's... Thank you for letting me know, because this it was not uh, described before. But this instruction is useful for everyone, not only for me. Favorite park. Which is your favorite city park? Radio button not checked none. OK, here I can read the answers. Radio button not checked Central Park. I can press space bar to check. Checked. And. Central Park radio button focus check two of six. Okay, so it's very easy now to understand the content and not time consuming as it was before. Free newsletter, optional, grouping name, edit. So free newsletter is the label that is assigned to this edit box and it tells me that is this optional. So here I have all the information that I need. Button examples. Rel I have here some examples 
of accessible buttons. Mainland. What is important is to use HTML buttons whenever is possible, or to use uh, the button roll. Print mute toggle button not pressed. And we have here an example of a toggle button, which sometimes are not accessible. Um, pressed. So now I selected the button mute, and the screen reader informed me that the button is pressed. Mute toggle button, focus pressed. Mute pressed. What uh, they use here is aria pressed attribute in order to make it clear for me that it is pressed. This is one of the solution. Another solution would be to change the label, so mute and muted, or mute and change to volume. Um, it needs to be also indicated um, with colors and with um, other means. Here, the color is not uh, changed. But it's a, a simple example how to make toggle buttons accessible for screen readers. ARIA 1.1 combat box with lip. This is Clip. an example of accessible autocomplete. Out of lip. Sorry. Out of main landmark exam. Heading left choice one fruit or vegetable. OK. So I will press Enter to activate um, the form. Choice one fruit or vegetable. Edit has autocomplete. I can Blank. choose a fruit or a vegetable. OK. So I'll start typing a random fruit. So orange. But I will not type completely. O-R-N-G. 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 Orange. Oh, no. blank. Okay. Iran. Orange list item okay. for and choice I one fruit or vegetable. read orange. I was pressing down arrow to find the proposed uh, the, the suggestion. And I will press enter to confirm. Choice one fruit or vegetable. I get focused because auto complete. Iran. Okay. Iran. No. Choice one fruit or veg choice one fruit or vegetable edit has auto complete. Orange. Okay, it accepted my selection. This example is to show that also autom uh, auto complete can be accessible. Example of tabs with automatic activation. Tabs Rel are mainland very often used in uh, same page applications. Tab selected Niels from. And here the first tab is selected by default. Tab Agnes Abel. The second is not described as selected. I will press space bar to select it. Selected. And when I continue by pressing down arrows, I can hear the selection, uh, the, the um, description. Tab Joe. Agnes Caroline Farip Abel is a Danish singer songwriter. Etc. What is interesting here, I can also delete the third tab by pressing the delete key on the keyboard. Tab joke. It is the joke tab. Agnes Abel tab select. And I managed to delete it. Here several um, attributes are used, like aria select. Um, and the full description is on the W3C page. Modal dialogue example, why aria? And the last example is modal dialogue. Rel which very often are sadly not accessible. Mainline done in a way that they are not accessible, well, but they can be accessible. Add delivery address button. Add delivery address is the button that will activate the model dialog or the pop-up. I'll press enter to activate it. Add delivery address dialog. Street. Edit. Blank. The focus goes to the first interactive element in the pop-up. This is important. Street. It is an edit box. I will not type in the street now, but we'll continue reading the next element by pressing the tab key. City, edit, blank. City. State, edit, zip, edit. Special instructions, edit, for example, gate code or other information to help the driver find you, blank. And the special instruction, which is useful. Verify address button. Verify address. Button add, button cancel. And cancel. Uh, if I continue to press down arrow, button cancel. I cannot go out from the pop-up. This is important because I can uh, distinguish the content of the pop-up and from the rest of the page. To close this pop-up, I can click cancel or press escape key on the keyboard. Button add delivery address. And I will return to the same button that opened the pop-up. This is also important as 
If the focus returns to a different part of the page, I will spend time to find where I was before. I will turn off the screen reader and press. Okay. The statistics say that 15% of the population has some form of disability. Remember that accessible design benefits everyone, as shown in this presentation. And when accessibility, so it is important uh, that um, when designing, um, you think about accessibility. And with accessibility in mind, you will create a better future for all of us. Thank you for your attention, and please make any questions if you have. Thanks a lot, Tanya. Uh, if anybody, we have maybe time for one or two questions. Uh, some, anybody wants has a question to ask? So um, I only have one question. It's um, those blank uh, mm -hmm. items. What are those? Uh, it's an empty div or what is it? Yes. Uh, so it was repeated several times in the page that was not accessible and indeed um, it was um, not done with um, uh, all semantical information. It is normal uh, that screen readers read uh, empty spaces in between, but there are um, elements that can create more blanks. It can be um, some div or some other elements. Um, and it's important to test it with a screen reader. Um, and uh, with um, automatic accessibility checkers. But uh, automatic checkers will detect from 10 to 30 uh, percent of uh, accessibility issues. Yes. Uh, I think we'll stop now if there are no other questions. And uh, at the moment, if you have any other question, I guess you can come to Tanya after the talk or during the conference, if she's around. <laughs> and thank you again very much, Tanya. Thank you for you the invitation. <laughs>